Over the last several years, we continue to see cancel culture be this insidious weapon that people will wield anytime they can if they think they can control the way someone speaks. Whether it's a normal person who might end up losing their job, their career, their livelihood, all for a political opinion or a social opinion, or whether it's in the highest of the high levels of the entertainment industry. As soon as someone steps one toe out of line, as soon as they say one thing that doesn't align with that of the woke mob, they get attacked for it. But we have seen people start to speak out about all of this that's going on, including Jennifer Aniston. Now, Jennifer Aniston, this is not really the first time she's touched on cancel culture or the way that things have changed lately. It was only a couple months ago that she kind of took aim at a bunch of people who get offended over friends. She said there's basically an entire generation of people out there that find friends offensive. That it's stupid that so many comedians are trying to be so careful about comedy because people are taking it way too seriously. People seem are getting offended over anything and everything, especially when it comes to comedy. So she did kind of address this several months ago, got some backlash again from some people in the woke media. How dare you say that the people that watch Friends Day and are offended are wrong. That's not acceptable. That's not very sensitive of you. It's kind of exactly the point that she was making. Well, now once again, she's speaking out about cancel culture and basically saying, I'm over it. Not everybody's the worst person in the world. And ironically, she uses Harvey Weinstein as an example. Jennifer Aniston says cancel culture has gone too far. Is there no redemption? I don't put everybody in the Harvey Weinstein basket. Now, this entire conversation started because she got asked a question about Harvey Weinstein, about how weird it was having to work with him, what a creep he was. Not that she ever had any of the stuff that some people would allege, but just what a creep in general Harvey Weinstein was in the entertainment industry. And that kind of evolved into a different conversation specifically about cancel culture. Yet the Friends alum Aniston shared, she thinks cancel culture has become too extreme and ends up treating all alleged perpetrators as if they are Weinstein. Quote, I'm so over cancel culture, I probably just got canceled by saying that. I don't just, I just don't understand what it means. Is there no redemption? I don't know. I don't put everybody in the Harvey Weinstein basket. And I think that's a pretty normal take for most people to have, one, that they're over cancel culture, but also just because, one, someone's alleged of something doesn't mean you should immediately treat them as if they are the worst person in the world. You got to wait till some of the facts come out about all this stuff. But two, obviously, depending on what they did, if they, you know, killed someone in cold blood or raped somebody, that's a little bit different. But if they just misgendered somebody or they, they have this political opinion, the idea that they're just canceled, that they're done, that their persona non grata in the entertainment industry is absolutely fucking laughable and it's not just Hollywood elites you have normal people each and every day that lose their jobs because of an opinion that they posted on Facebook because they wore a MAGA hat because of these laughable things that should really be protected in our society right now but people are losing jobs for that reason. Maybe she's starting to say this because she got pretty close to a cancellation over something that was complete bullshit a few weeks ago when Jamie Foxx put out that, quote, anti-Semitic post, which was really just about a friend stabbing him in the back. Somebody photoshopped a post to make it look like Jennifer Aniston had liked it, and people started coming after her and calling her an anti-Semite, like all this shit, a big cancellation attempt. She ended up shutting down her Instagram comments because of all the people that were attacking her over a complete and total lie. So maybe that's why she decided to bring it up now that, uh, again, maybe she flew a little clo too close to the sun. Maybe that cancellation got a little bit too close to her and she saw it was complete and total bullshit. But it's certainly not the first time that she's addressed how sensitive everyone seems to be and how prevalent cancel culture can be. What do you guys think about Jennifer Aniston calling out cancel culture, saying she's over it, saying she'll probably get canceled just for saying that, and I bet there will be people out there that go after her just for that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.